Coach, uh, overall thoughts on the game tonight? Uh, it was good. I thought we had a great start, real good first period, and uh, we skated really well, drove the net, and created a couple of power play opportunities for us, and uh, that, that was big early in the game. And then uh, I think we had a little bit of a lapse. I think we felt uh, a little too pleased of ourselves and let them back in it. Uh, mainly because we stopped skating, and they're a team that never quits. The whole organization's like that, so we, we talked about it, and uh, I think the fourth goal was huge for us to get us back on track, relieve a little pressure, and I thought third period was solid to kind of close out the game. Talk about Hoffman and his, and his return. Obviously, you know, it was good to see him out there, but then to get a, you know, get a goal from him as well was a big lift, I'm sure. Absolutely. You know, we just uh, fed off his energy early, and I thought he was... Uh, uh, you know, he showed his, his skill level. It's, it's really, uh, it's, it's probably the highest level of this league for sure. And um, it was a big lift for us to get that goal. Uh, I thought we were really putting pressure on them, and I'm sure it felt good for him. And, uh, you know, I, I thought he skated pretty good. He looked like he, he didn't miss a beat. Uh, I know uh, he was, he's probably a little tentative in a few areas, but other than that, uh, he, he looked really good and skated strong for us. So we we're very happy to have him back. Just overall, what, how'd the team feel to have both Boro and Hoffman back to kind of get you guys more in a normal rhythm of things? Yeah, I think uh, you could just feel a little bit of the excitement and confidence. Like I said, we uh, we fed off their energy and their excitement to be back. And, uh, you know, it's just like uh, everybody's kind of uh, gets a little bit of a jolt in the arm. And, uh, you know, I think also you're competing for ice time too. So you got guys coming back in and, and you know they're good solid players that are keys to our team and, and uh, they're going to get some roles that other players don't want to lose. So uh, it's good uh, competitive balance in the dressing room and the guys really like each other so I think they're all happy for those guys to have a chance to come back after some injuries time off. After struggling uh, so much on the power play in February, now in March it's gotten much better. Tonight you got another power play goal, but you also got a shorthanded goal, even strength goal. It seemed like everything was clicking tonight, uh, all the units. Yeah, special teams were big for us. Our PK not only got us a goal, and and, uh, and basically not the game-winning goal, but really in our eyes I think it took the momentum back to our side. So um, I think you know the power play, we've been working hard at it, and uh, now we're getting some healthy bodies and we're getting some units that are a little cohesive on the ice. They're really moving the puck well. Like even last game, I think we could have had three power play goals. But as long as we keep uh, generating those chances, they're going to go in for us because we have the talent uh, in the lineup playing together. And then uh, when you can spread it around and get a shorthanded goal, a power play goal, an empty net goal, and an even strength goal, that's a pretty good night. Coach, you called Albany the toughest team you think you'll play the rest of the way. How big was it to get this win tonight, not only against them, but also the first of three in a row? Uh, real big confidence builder for us. I know they're not uh, up there in the standings, uh, but you know, as every team, uh, as we know, there's injuries and there's uh, call-ups to the NHL. So uh, I don't know how many times they've had their full lineup playing, but anytime we've played them, it's been a tough game, and they've really given us one of the diff most difficult times all year. So for us going uh, into the last quarter of the season, having a really solid game, especially at home, uh, you know, knowing that confidence that you can beat a team like that at home. Uh, it just makes everybody feel a little bit bigger, a little bit more proud of themselves, and uh, we can hopefully take that confidence and not rest on it, but take that and, and use it as a, a builder for tomorrow. Coach, any update on that? Gaisley, it seemed like he really couldn't put any pressure at all on his uh, left leg. I haven't ha actually seen him or heard yet. I know the trainer just said it was uh, uh, he went in hard on his back. Uh, uh, he didn't say anything about his head or a concussion, which is a good thing. So, uh, you know, we got great trainers and uh, guys that can work on him. And, uh, you know, he's a tough, uh, tough little bugger that uh, I, I wouldn't see him out being out too long because uh, uh, his determination is what got him here to this point. I, I see it just progressing and pushing him forward. So hopefully he's back soon. Any, uh, any word on Downing as well? Uh, is he getting closer to coming back? Uh, he's skating. He's got the pins out of his thumb. And, uh, you know, now it's, he's just starting therapy. and. And a little bit of uh, puck handling, but really not much yet. So he's, he's a ways away. But uh, skating-wise, uh, it's the same as most of the other guys. They go through Steve Sterling's workout every day. And, and as every time uh, someone comes back off an injury, they don't miss a beat with the legs. Any chance that he'll be out for the whole remainder of the regular season? Uh, doesn't, yeah, it doesn't look like it. So, uh, you know, we got another uh, um, almost month to go. I would assume it would be at least two weeks, uh, but hopefully before the end of the season. Thank you.